What's going on, Fortnite friends? Arkane here as your host for your weekly dose of Gotcha News. This week, we have a controversial story, upcoming games to talk about, collaborations, and more. As always, if you guys enjoy the video, feel free to leave it a like, comment down below what story you were most interested in, and don't forget to subscribe to Fortnite Gaming Mobile for all your mobile gaming needs. Now, with that said, let's get right into this week's news. Near Reincarnation is currently undergoing its first anniversary on JP. To celebrate, both the JP and Global versions will be able to reap the rewards. If you're a new player or you've always been interested in the game, that would be a great time to start. From now until the 5th of March, players can get up to 220 free multis. It was also announced that Near Reincarnation will be having a collaboration with Final Fantasy XIV. It's unknown whether this crossover will come to both versions of the game at this time. If you're unfamiliar with the title and would like to learn more about it, Gail and I did a first impressions video on the channel a while ago, but it's basically a traditional RPG where players comprise teams of three. The game features beautiful graphics, unique stories that are interconnected, characters from throughout the Nier series, and PvP. In other Nier news, it was announced that Nier Automata will be receiving an anime adaptation and there will be a stream celebrating the game's 5th anniversary on February 23rd. So if you're a fan of the series, there's definitely a lot to look forward to. Nier Reincarnation is immediately available on Android and iOS devices for Global and JP. Speaking of anniversaries, Final Fantasy VII as a series is celebrating its 25th since it originally released way back in 1997. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier is getting in on the festivities with unique Polygon skins. The Polygon skins coming include Cloud, Aerith, Tifa, Barret, Red 13, and even a Chocobo one. It's also been teased that four more skins will be coming, and based on the silhouettes, it looks like Yuffie, Sid, Vincent, and Sephiroth will be receiving Polygon skins as well. For a limited time, players who defeat specific event monsters will be rewarded with special boxes and data collect pieces that will unlock event limited goods. Completing missions will also give players premium Shinra pack tickets and more data pieces. These event exclusive rewards include polygon skins for Cloud in a dress and a Shinra soldier, with a classic Buster Sword accessory available as well. For soldiers, collaboration with the original Final Fantasy VII started today and will continue until the 28th of this month. The First Soldier is a mobile battle royale that takes place before the events of the original FF7, and if you'd like to try it out yourself, the game is available worldwide on Android and iOS devices. Blue Archive for Global has recently hit 100 days live since launch, and to celebrate all players who log in from now until the 23rd of the month, will receive 1,200 pyrogens and other goodies. The other goodies include a Blue Archive themed calendar, a monthly planner, line notes, and a set of graph paper, are included as a digital merch. Fans of the soundtrack can listen to songs like Target for Love and Unwelcome School Piano Jazz version through the package as well. I know the online merch may not be that exciting, but the free 1200 power gens aren't bad as a freebie. If you'd like to see if the game is for you, Nolar did a first impressions video on the channel a couple months ago. The game is described as a story-based RPG that features 3D models, the ability to run the game in auto, PvP, and special scenes with units with CG and 2D animation. If any of that sounds up your alley, Blue Archive is immediately available on Android and iOS devices for global. Gotcha games are doing it people! Another gotcha is making the move over to consoles, and this time it's Puzzle and Dragons. The game is set to release very soon on February 19th and will cost $4.37, with in-game purchases available, of course. The title will feature three distinct modes, Quest Mode, PvP Mode, and Custom Mode. In Quest Mode, players battle against vicious monsters in a plethora of dungeons. Two to four other players can also join you in your journey. In PvP, eight players duke it out to see who can achieve the highest score. There's world matches that'll square you up with other players around the globe, and front matches that can be done in lobbies. Also, if you want to practice against a CPU, that's available too. Lastly, in custom mode, players have the opportunity to mix and match monsters, backgrounds, and music to create their own original dungeons, and then upload them for others to try out. If you never played a Puzzle and Dragons game, it's a match 3 RPG, so it's simple for anyone to hop in and start battling. Puzzle and Dragons Nintendo Switch will be available on Switch worldwide on February 19th. This next story is quite the head scratcher. Tower of Fantasy was initially announced that it would be coming to global, but it turned out that the message was actually faked for some reason. When the traditional Chinese page was asked about the English Tower of Fantasy Facebook page being real or not, 
They responded that they are the only official social media page for the game. Although the announcement that was made was unfortunately fraudulent, it has been discussed that the team of Tower Fantasy are preparing versions for other regions, but they just haven't announced anything yet. This is just another reminder to be mindful of posts you see online, just because you see something that may seem legit, doesn't mean that it is. Tower Fantasy is an open world RPG set in a cyberpunk like world, so think Genshin Impact but less of a fantasy vibe, and more futuristic and grounded, which is kind of ironic with the game being called Tower Fantasy and all. Anyways, if the game looks interesting to you, it's immediately available for Android and iOS devices as well as PC for CN. Kicking things off on JP and Beyond, we have a newly announced title called Hero Dice. The game is being developed by Tango Gameworks, a studio led by Shinji Mikami, the director of the first Resident Evil game. Hero Dice is described as a co-op board game that allows four players to play at the same time. To play, a dice is rolled that allows users to move their characters and stop in squares to fight. By the way, the title is also being published by Zenimax, which owns Bethesda, so it is interesting to see them push this type of mobile title. It appears to be a game that involves strategy and preparation, with the ability of other players to help out in battles if you get stuck. If the game sounds like it's something you want to try out, Hero Dice is already up for pre-registration for JP on Android and iOS devices. As of now, the title is slated for a Spring 2022 release, with no confirmation of a global version at this time. Princess Connect Redive has reached its 4th anniversary, and you know what that means, free stuff. Just for logging into the game, all players will be able to acquire 2,000 jewels, 50 divine amulets, 50 princess heart shards, 50 princess orbs, 10 million mana, 200 mega potions, 200 times 5 stamina, 50 skip tickets, a 4th anniversary custom page, and a set of equipment from rank 7 through 23. Again, that's just for logging in. Players will also be able to do 140 free multis, so it's a really good time to start if you've been on the edge about it. I imagine there's special events and other content to tackle as well, but rewards was all I was able to find. But hey, it's a crap ton, so even if that's all there is, that's not too shabby. Princess Connect Redive is immediately available on Android and iOS devices for JP. For our last story of the week, we have Othelonia and its upcoming collaboration with Demon Slayer. If you've never heard of the game, it's basically a more strategic and intense take on checkers, so it shouldn't be too hard to pick up. Players have the opportunity to pick up their favorite Demon Slayer character in the collaboration free of charge. All they have to do is log in and they'll receive a stone that can be exchanged for one of the 17 collaboration characters. The characters included are Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Giyu, Kanroji, Himijama, Kocho, Tengen, Togito, Obanai, the GOAT Rengoku, and lastly, well for part 1 anyway, is Shinazagawa. For part 2, there is an alt version of Tengen, a duo Inosuke and Zenitsu unit, a duo Daki and Gyutaro, and finally a duo Nezuko and Tanjiro unit. The first part of the collaboration will start tomorrow on the 18th and will conclude on the 4th of March. The second part will begin on the 23rd of this month, also concluding on March 4th. By doing quests and missions alone, players can obtain up to 15 tickets that can be used on either part's gacha. Players can also relive iconic moments from Demon Slayer by participating in the Great Battle event. By completing certain stages in the event, players will be rewarded with shards that can be exchanged for collaboration characters. If you're a big fan of Demon Slayer or just want to give Othelonia a go, it's immediately available on Android and iOS devices for JP. Just like that, another episode of Gacha News comes to a close. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, for the latest in everything Gacha related, make sure to tune in every week for Gacha News. Have a good one, guys. Iron out. Thank you.